Shawan Mushi, which is a Japanese style custard that is steamed and a very light broth that has been infused with the spring garlic. Very pungent, very aromatic. Green garlic is an iconic California ingredient. It is fresh garlic in the springtime before it actually starts to bulb. The mince finely, mostly just the white. The white tends to be more delicate, and as I cut this, it becomes very obvious to everyone around you that it is, in fact, not a leek, but garlic because of the smell. Bernoisette, add half the garlic. We just want it to soften. We're not going to put any color on the green garlic. That would make it too strong. Vegetable broth, classic mirepoix. It has fennel in it. The weird things I like to add to it is a pinch of sugar and a star anise. Just as it's coming to a simmer, I'm going to add the last bit of the raw garlic, hopefully adding some complexity from the two different states of the garlic, softened and raw. Delicious. Most excellent. I've strained the broth, turn it on low. I am not trying to incorporate air into it. I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. You can see that the custard is very, very light. Shirodashi, white soy sauce that had katsuboshi as part of the fermentation process, one of our secret weapons here. I'm going to just kiss the surface of each one to get rid of the air bubbles, but not enough to cook it. Time to steam the custards. We're going to use broccoli to top the custard. And all I'm trying to get are those little florets, basically just giving the broccoli a trim. Super cuts. Seaweed vinegar is going to add the acidic element to the dish, along with a really good, strong dose of umami. Sake, rice wine vinegar, sugar, soy sauce, a little bit of water, simmer, bonito flakes, pretty. And then three different kinds of seaweed, fresh nori, kombu, and lettuce de mer, sea lettuce. Very common dried seaweed on the Pacific. And then I'll wrap it and let it cool till it's infused. Okay, it's time to plate the custard. This infusion is completely cool. Lovely smell. It's like a tisane. We will strain this off. Put it on very delicate. It's a little bit sweet. The stems from the broccoli that have been blanched. The fried florets from the broccoli, hiding the custard and the stems, but you can see the little bits of the color poking out. Some beautiful broccoli flowers, yet another more broccoli to the dish, and the color mimicking the color of the bowl. Broccoli flowers do taste of the plant, of broccoli. And this completes the dish, green garlic custard, with seaweed vinegar, broccoli.